Dizziness, whether it's mild or serious, affects around a third of all Australians, but very little is known about how to diagnose it. A special centre in Sydney is carrying out Australian First research, hoping to come to the rescue of sufferers. Eyes wide open. Graham Russell doesn't mind being strapped in for the sake of research after experiencing two dizzy episodes in the past year. I felt quite giddy, dizzy. I had difficulty explaining what happened to me and I thought if I go to a GP, he won't really know. Dizziness can affect people of all ages. I think about one in three people will say they've experienced dizziness at some stage in their lives. It's much more prevalent for people over the age of 50 who are also more prone to falling. Volunteers in this trial are literally spun around. Their pupils are probed One, two, three. and their bodies tilted to tease out the underlying causes. Dizziness can relate to a problem with the inner ear. It can relate to poor blood pressure control that makes us feel lightheaded. It's also linked to anxiety and old age. Or often many clinicians are at a loss to try and find a diagnosis for dizziness. At the end of all this testing, researchers will work out the best way of diagnosing the problem that saves both time and money. The Sydney team is recruiting about 300 people over the age of 50 to help with their work. I thought I was it's astronaut training, but it's not quite that bad. <laughs> the treatments are often very simple, so making the right diagnosis means faster relief for sufferers. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.